with F1 2017 done and dusted, we return to our season review to assess every team and every driver. Ferrari failed in its goal this year to clinch either the Drivers' or Constructors' World Championships, but there's no doubt its challenge to Mercedes was a breath of fresh air after three years of Silver Arrow's domination. It's been a good year in that way, having Ferrari and Mercedes you know, competing, yeah. um, you know, having you know, Sebastian and Lewis you know, competing at the top. Ferrari launched its SF70H quietly this year. Team principal Maurizio Arriva Bene shying away from making bold predictions. Looking at the car, we're thinking about uh, the effort, the dedication, the professionalism and passion of all the people in Ferrari that put together to build up uh, this car. The car is the result of a team effort, uh, and I'm, I'm very, very proud about this. But the squad emerged from pre-season testing with the two fastest times and completed 956 laps, just 40 less than benchmark Mercedes. Sebastian Vettel then took three wins from the first six races, but just two more from the next 14. Teammate Kimi Raikkonen lagged with just seven podiums, his best a pair of second places. But a nightmare run through Asia hobbled Vettel's campaign including his start line crash in Singapore and spark plug failure in Japan. It's a shame that Ferrari have had the issues they've had the last couple of races, and Sebastian obviously with the incident in Singapore, because they've been quick. They just, they've made mistakes, and uh, they've sort of handed it more to, to Mercedes and Lewis. While Vettel's reputation was tarnished with his meltdown in Azerbaijan, where he deliberately bumped into race leader Lewis Hamilton under the safety car after he thought he'd been brake tested. Well, the worst feeling I had after Baku, I think, just because it, you know, um, I sort of ruined the race with something unnecessary. So I struggled with that. It's now up to the prancing horse to come back much stronger to improve reliability and reduce mistakes but Vettel knows how tough it can be. You need a strong engine, uh, you need a good car, good aerodynamics, so it's really team, team effort trying to get the car uh, to a good level. TheInsideLine.com, for everything Formula One.